Okay, so welcome back to this channel. So now in this video, we will discuss that how we can implement role-based authorization in our NestJS API. So I have already made a complete series on how to build a REST API in NestJS. Okay, I have a complete playlist. So you can watch that also. I will add the link in the description of this video. And today we will continue that series and we will discuss more about NestJS. So now in this video, we will discuss about um, how we can authorize roles uh, in our NestJS API. So this is my API from my previous series. If I go back to my Git repo, so you can see that here, this is my Git repo for this project that is library Nest API. I have created this complete series last year. You can see that I have here uh, seven different branches. So you have to download or clone this seventh branch with that is E2E test. And now we will continue from this uh, code and then we will add our uh, authorization code. Okay, so make sure to uh, download or clone this uh, branch, which is the seventh one. I will also add this link in the uh, description of this video. So now let's move on. First of all, this is the official uh, documentation of NestJS. We have to implement role-based authorization. So let's go to this authorization uh, option. And you can see that here we have here complete guide to implement role-based authorization. First of all, we have to create our enum. Enum, we are going to define all our roles of our API like this. Okay. And then we have to create our custom decorator. We know that we are using uh, built-in decorators in our uh, application. You can see that this is a probe decorator. This is a schema decorator. In the same way in DTO, we have these decorators. So now we have to create our own custom decorator uh, that is going to be roles. Okay. So in, in that decorator, we are going to set the metadata. The metadata is going to be uh, the roles that we have defined in this enum. Okay. And after defining that decorator, we also have to create our custom guard. So with that guard, we can authorize our roles. You can see that here, this is the example of how we can implement roles guard. We have to create our class roles guard implement the scan active. And this scan active is actually an interface. Okay, so we will implement this interface and now we have to override a, a method that is a scan active. In that we have to write our all logic to basically check and authorize the roles. Okay, so now with this reflector class, uh, with this reflector class, we can basically get our metadata that we have defined in here. And then we can basically authorize our roles and we will see that in a minute. Okay. So you can see that we will use this reflector helper class uh, for that. If I open in new tab here, just to show you. So you can see that here NestJS provides the ability to attach custom metadata. So we will attach the custom metadata uh, right here. So we will attach our custom metadata with this set metadata decorator. Okay. And once after setting that, we can use uh, the reflector class. You can see that here to access the route roles, uh, custom data will use the reflector helper class again. So with that, we can access all our roles that we have attached in our custom metadata. So this is the entire flow that we have to basically follow. So first of all, let's create our enum and then we will create our decorator and then we will create our guard and authorize our roles. So first of all, let's go back. I go in the source in the auth. I will create a new folder enums in that I will create my first file that is going to be role.enum.ts so let's define our enum here that is going to be export uh, enum role okay so in that we're going to define all our roles first of all let's say we have the user role that is going to be a user that is equal to actually and the same way we will have our admin user moderator okay like this so we are going to have these three roles you can definitely put more if you want so we are going to use these three roles user admin and moderator so now we have defined our enum now we have to just attach this enum to the metadata so now we just have to set our uh, roles with this set metadata and then we can access this metadata which is the roles with our reflector helper class so let's uh, use the set metadata i go back and in auth, I create a new folder. Uh, let's call it decorators. In that, I will create my custom decorator that is going to be roles.decorator.ts. So first of all, uh, let's define here export const the roles key that is going to be, let's say roles. This is going to be our key. And then we have to set the metadata. So export const roles. And that is going to be we will get all the roles and that roles is going to be role basically interface uh, sorry enum okay we have multiple so i will put here array and then 
we have to set the metadata so set metadata and we have to import that from nest.js slash common and in that we will set our metadata so first of all we have to type in here metadata key and then the value so key is going to be this roles key okay and then the value is going to be these roles that we will pass okay so now uh, once we pass our roles for a specific route we will set that in the metadata and now we have to authorize that simply save it now this is our decorator now we have to create our guard uh, which is this one in which we will simply implement the scan active interface and then we have to override the scan active in that we will use this reflector class that will help us to get the metadata and then we can authorize our roles so let's go back and let's create in the source auth let's create a new folder with the name guards so in that i will create my roles dot guards or role dot guards dot ts so first of all you have to export from here a class uh, with the name roles guard that implements um, let's say can active from nest.js slash common and in that we have to write our code and we also have to use here injectable and that is going to be injectable like this okay so now we have this class now we have to you can see that we have here warning that class roles guard uh, incorrectly implements interface uh, the property can active is missing so we have to implement this can active because we have implemented this interface now we have to override uh, this can active uh, function so what i will do is first of all i will define here my constructor okay in that i'm going to have my uh, reflector class we know that we can use this reflector helper class to access our metadata okay and then let's uh, define our can active in that we are going to have in here uh, we will remove this from here we will have our context and then we, it is going to return the boolean that user is authorized or not okay so that's why it is boolean and on this uh, function we have to get all the roles and remember that we can get the roles with our in uh, and this reflector helper class so i will type here cons required roles is going to be this dot reflector dot get all and override and in that we have to pass in here uh, the role enum for the type and then in the roles that is going to be roles key actually so roles key okay and then in that we can define in here first of all we have to pass context dot get handler and then we have to type in here context dot get class okay so now we have our all required roles in here we have used this refractor helper class to get our roles you have passed in here our role key and it will find all the roles with that key and we, we know that we have attached this uh, roles in here with this key so now we get our roles that are required for that route now we just have to authorize that first of all i check that if not required roles then i will simply return from here true okay otherwise you have to check that so const first of all you have to get the user so i will get the request that is going to be context dot switch to http dot get request and that will give me the request now with this request i can get my current user so const user is going to be request dot user you know that user will be logged in so we will get the current user from the request dot user now we have to get this user role and compare that with these roles okay so i will simply type in here return and uh, let's create a function here first of all that will uh, return match roles in that we will pass first of all required roles uh, these roles that are required by the uh, route and then user role so user dot role okay and now let's define this function so i copy that from here function match roles in that we're going to have our uh, required roles okay that is going to be an array of string and then we are going to have here the user role that is going to be string so in that we can write our code so first of all let's say return uh, required roles we know that this is an array dot sum so i will use here sum a uh, function that will basically check that if uh, the user role matches any of the uh, required roles or some of the roles because a user can have multiple roles a user can be a normal user and a moderator or user can be an admin and a moderator just like that so we have to use here some function 
that if it matches some of the roles so required role dot sum and for each role we have to check so role that is going to be string we will check that if user role dot includes uh, the role okay and that is going to be also an array of stream because user can have multiple roles okay so now uh, we have defined this function first of all let me test that and then we will uh, i will explain it again okay and now we just have to go to our schemas in the user schema we also have to define here a field for the role so i will type here that role is going to be uh, enum it can be multiple roles okay and then let's define here at prop okay so in this prop the first of all we have to define here the type so type is going to be an array of uh, let's say type is going to be string and then enum is going to be role and then by default uh, the role is going to be an array that contains role dot user like this okay so i will use it here string like this okay so now we have defined here uh, in our user schema we have defined a role field a user can have multiple roles so that is going to be an array of roles okay we have used this role enum as a type and then we have defined here a prop in the prop we have defined that by default it is going to be an array that contain uh, the user role by default every user is going to be user and then the type is going to be string and it is going to be uh, one of the enums and that is going to be an array so i will simply go to uh, the source i go in the book and then let's go in the book.controller.ts and let's um, let's say protect this route get all books so what i will do is first of all i have to use in here uh, roles so add roles and now you can see that we have to import the roles from our roles decorator and in the roles decorator we can pass in here our roles you can see that okay so if i go here you can see that we can pass in here roles and we will set those roles in the metadata we can define in here multiple uh, roles let's say role dot so we have to also import in here role from enum so role dot let's say moderator and then roles dot admin this means that only moderator and admin can access this route and now this is we have to use roles so we also have to protect this route so i will use here use guard decorator so use guards and we have to use that now in that we can pass in here our guards okay so the first guard is going to be auth guard of course we have to protect that so i will use here auth guard and then i also have to use in here the roles guard and that we have just created so i will use here roles guard which is this one so now it will check that user is authenticated or not and then we will authorize our roles and these are going to be our roles that we have defined in here okay so now we have protected this route uh, for these two users only let's start the server so npm run start dev let's start in development mode and now if i go back to my postman so this is my route to create a new user so slash auth slash sign up in that i will pass in here name email password and now if i click on send you can see that user is created i get back here my token and if i go to my database let's go to the user you can see that here we have this user and in the role we have this array that contains only one user which is this one okay so now let's use this user uh, to access that route so that route is going to be uh, we will copy it from here so let me check the route first of all and the book route slash books okay so that is going to be slash books and now if i click on send so unauthorized first of all you have to pass in here the token i go to the authorization then bearer token and let's copy this token from here and let's use that so i will put that here now if i click on send you can see that now we get here forbidden error because uh, this user is not authorized okay and uh, let's say if i go back and let's put in here the third user that is role dot user so now we have also added this and now if i go back click on send now i can access all my books in here okay so this way we can authorize the roles but if i go back and if i remove this role from here now this user cannot access this route we will get back here uh oops not sign up here we will get this forbidden error 
so in this way we can basically protect our routes and let me uh, create another user john2 and pass in here let's say roles that is going to be a uh, user and then the admin so now if i click on send so user is created now if i copy it from here before that i go to bandit database and here you can see that uh oops this is i will delete this user again that's register again and that is role not roles so send now if i go back refresh now i have here we actually also have to pass the roles uh, while creating the user so what i will do is i will simply go to my auth then go here in the user sorry auth uh, service and then here we are getting the name email and password from sign up dto we also have to get the role okay and we also have to go in sign up dto and i will put in here read only role that is going to be array of string and that is optional so i will use here add is optional decorator like this if i save it from here now i will get the role and i can also pass that in here okay and that is actually yes role okay and now we go in the controller we will pass in the sign up dto that contains the role now let's go back and delete this user and sign up again so i go back and that is role now if i click on send user is created if i go back to my database reload now you can see that here we have this user with two roles user and admin and now if i go back and let's copy this token and now let's send request to this route again which is protected and authorized so send now we can access that because this user is admin and let me go back first of all let's let me define all the code that we have written in this video first of all we have defined in here our decorator uh, sorry enum in which we have write all our roles like this user admin and moderator now we have to set these roles as the metadata so, so for that we will create our custom decorator that is going to be this in that we will use a set metadata and we have to pass here the key and then the value so key is going to be these roles string and the value is going to be roles that we will pass in this decorator uh, right here uh, right here okay so we have passed these roles in here and now we will set these roles uh, in this metadata and we know that we can set, get this metadata with the help of this uh, reflector helper class so for that we have created our guard which is roles guard so the class name is roles guard we have implemented this scan active which is interface and once we implement this interface we have to override this scan active uh, function or method okay so now in this method we will use this reflector class and get our metadata that we will get with this roles key and once we get the roles key we can simply get our current user from the request and then we can match the roles that if any of the roles match with the required roles and if i actually log in here uh, required roles okay just to show you i will log that here and now let's also log in here the user role that is going to be user role if i save it and now if i go back if i click on send you can see that here required roles are moderator and admin that we have defined uh, in here right here so these are required for this route the user role is user and admin so now we have admin uh, as the user role and also we have admin in the required role so that's why we are authorized to access this route so in this way this guard will work and we will authorize our roles okay so that's it for this video if you have any question you can post in the comment section i will try my best to explain it again and you can also find the source code of this video in the uh, description of this video i will add the git repo link okay so that's it for this video i will see you in the next video in which we will discuss that how we can handle files in nest.js and how we can upload that to aws